if you're using OBS and a Logitech webcam, you can use Logitech Capture to improve the video quality from this to this. Whoa, before we begin, here's a disclaimer. Not every single type of Logitech webcam is supported. So I recommend that you check the list of those webcams on their official website. I'll leave a link for that in the description below. So here in OBS, let's create a new scene for our webcam Logitech capture setup. Click over here in the plus icon and give the scene a new name. Let's call it Logitech capture. Once that's sorted out, you need to add a new device. So click on sources, look for video capture device. So from here, you'll see a list of existing devices, but let's just create a new one and give it a name. So in this pop-up window, you'll find this device dropdown and automatically it's detecting the C922 webcam that I have connected. But click on this drop down, you'll see other options. And the one that we're looking for is actually Logitech Capture. You'll see this icon here because right now Logitech Capture is switched off, but that's okay, we'll deal with that later. Before we proceed any further, we have to make sure that there are a few settings that are aligned with Logitech Capture itself. So the first one is the resolution. Click on this and select custom. From here, we can specify the similar resolution that we have set up for our webcam in Logitech Capture. So for mine, it's 1920 times 1080. FPS, you can either leave it as match output FPS, but to be safe, you can specify the exact FPS as well, which is for me, 30 frames per second. Once we check both of those settings, click OK. Before we move on, there's one more setting that we want to check just in case. So head over to file, click on settings, and from here, click video, and make sure that the same values are here as well in terms of your resolution, as well as the frame rate per second or FPS. Again, we want to make sure that these values are consistent across the different softwares that we have, including our video editor as well, once we start that process. If not, you'll have some mismatch in frame rates and then the quality will be compromised and the image might be jittery or not smooth. Okay, now that we have the OBS settings all good to go, click on Logitech Capture and launch it and you'll see that it's picking up the footage from the webcam that I have connected. And what's good here is that whatever settings you apply on Logitech Capture will be automatically reflected on this side, which is the OBS footage. In fact, right here, I have different profiles set up and I can switch to different styles of footage by selecting different profiles. So if I want a different footage or a different look for maybe a different setup, maybe for streaming, I can just select it from my profiles here and then I don't have to bother with the settings anymore. I just set it up once and we're good to go. Now within Logitech Capture itself, you can see here when you select the first source, which is the webcam, there are a bunch of settings that will influence how the look of the video is. And I recommend that you switch a lot of these things to manual so that you'll have the best performance and control of your webcam settings. Watch this next if you want to learn more about how to unlock the best settings using Logitech Capture. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share this with others so that they can benefit. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.